Hello everyone, and welcome to XCOM Chimera Squad. A small little XCOM game that kind of popped out of nowhere a couple days ago. I'm currently playing this on Friday the 24th at about 9.30 a.m. The game has been out a couple hours, but it launched at midnight. And you're probably not going to see this until like Monday. I don't know if this is going to be a fully edited series or if I'm just going to do a transistor thing and have it be a non-edited filler series as I get back up on speed on the other things. Long story short, I finished the video that I went on hiatus for. I uh, did not edit a lot of other videos that I had in the backlog. I really got to record new videos. Things are a mess. Like, I'm sure you can all agree things are a mess right now. My last XCOM series, uh, for those of you who don't know, I did XCOM 2 essentially twice, one part way through and then another one in all the way through when War of the Chosen came out. It wasn't very popular. I feel like that might have been because I named all of the characters after my online friend group, and so you guys, and so normal viewers really lacked context. And I might just not be very good at, uh, you know, Let's Play XCOM. So, you know, that's completely fair. If you choose not to watch this series, no hard feelings. Just know I'm going to keep playing it. I'm going to keep recording it for as long as I enjoy it. And this thing looks all right. So I'm going to I'm going to check that out. But uh, yeah, with all that said, apologies for the two minute delay here. We're gonna start X-Cops here, and uh, we're gonna see what happened after our after uh, XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Story normal. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go normal. Nothing. I could. I, I feel like I could go expert, but I'm gonna go normal just to start out with Iron Man. Save that is updated automatically. These bursts through the game. Failed missions must be restarted on. I'm at gaming choices, I can't uh, You know what, let's just go Iron Man straight on. Any mission results in total campaign loss. No, let's not go hardcore. Five levels to the city anarchy meter decrease. Nah, I can do that. Let's go through the tutorial, just because I, I'm completely going in blind. I'll show in subtitles. Uh, he'll be queen encounters. How much of any help? Okay. Two minutes out. Hey, Godmother. Is this like the old days? XCOM swooping in and taking it to the bad guys? I wouldn't know. I spent most of the world training resistance networks. Like mine. And for your many long years of service. Watch it. XCOM attaches you to an untested squad and pushes it into the field before it's ready. How is this not like the old days? I'm just happy to be here. I missed out during the war. I wish I could have pulled my weight. For which side, exactly? I find that very hurtful. Sure thing, Advent. <clears throat> we are through the checkpoint. I was never actually Advent. But they were fitting you for a blocky helmet. Stow it, both of you. We're here. 3-1-PD gave us the all clear. Grab your gear and prepare to move in. Whisper, what's your status? And what's Verge's ETA? Comms are working, obviously. Verge is en route. How? Verge can't drive. He, uh, he hailed a cab. To a hostage situation? Focus. Whisper, any surprises in the next room? A handful of hostiles, unaware of your approach. Chimera squad, take positions. Prep for breach. Alright. Uh, qu quick summary, I just realized, for those who may not know, this game takes place five years after XCOM 2. The Ethereals are gone, and now we have aliens and hybrids living among us, and everyone's just trying to make things work. And Chimera Squad is like the police force of a single city trying to keep the entire place together. Breaching. This is a new mechanic. Chimera Squad begins every mission by setting up at breach points to get the jump on enemies. Preview the enemy presence at each breach point and modifiers that will be applied. 
then assign agents to the available slots to determine the order they'll enter the fight. Select breach slots to assign agents. Cherub, Godmother, and Terminal. Uh, Godmother? She seems important. Then Cherub. Okay. And... Oh, uh... No? Oh, Terminal. There we go. Uh, so, this sh Godmother should go in first, followed by Cherub and, uh, Terminal? Right? Actually, no, hang on. Let's swap them. Yeah, let's swap these two, because he has a shield, she has a gun. If they breach the door and people start shooting, I want the guy in shield to go in first. Breach, 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 breach! Breach targeting. Cycle through the available targets with tab and left shift, then use the ability with enter. Okay. So we got three hostiles. This guy's closest. Uh, reach fire. Response level alert. Alert enemies will use an ability at the end of the breach sequence. Uh, breach fire! And she's got a good squad in the last one. Well, that cleaned up nicely. Hello. I am Mayor Nightingale. Is that our hostage? Welcome to City 31's Memorial Museum. It's just a recording. As I often say, the lessons from our past inform the present. Blah, 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 history. Focus. I suspect we'll be getting a history lesson during this hostage situation. Tar turns and moving. It's kind of like a Banner Saga, if you've played that. Agents and enemies take their turns one at a time. Their current place in the turn order can be seen on the unit flag above their head and next to the portrait in the timeline, which both update after each turn. Agents have two action points each turn to use for movement, shooting, or abilities. Look for a blue shield to move into cover for defensive bonuses before shooting, or move out to flank the enemy for a better chance to hit. Okay. Move enemy to cover and get line of sight on enemies. So we got Batty here. And okay, we can only move Cherub. We can't move anyone else. Let's let's push him closer here. Okay, I'm moving. He's got the shield. Uh select the ability from Billy Bar, be open shot with HUD with enter. There we go. Dropping target. Oh. Trying to listen to what she's saying, but it's not going well. Um, I guess you can On try and flank around. He'll make it. Uh, not great chance. Godmother fires shotgun. Okay, so simple enough. All good. You see this? Huh. Interesting. Contact! Clear. Verge? Ah, <sighs> what took you so long? Had to unpack a breaching charge. Good man. Not exactly. You know what I mean. I always do. So creepy. Don't ever change. Verge, form up. Any hostiles in the next room? Yes. I can feel them. So yeah, we got aliens in Chimera Squad. Get used to that. Multiple breach points in turn order. Some encounters offer more than one breach point, with different risks and benefits. Consider whether to split the squad or send them all through the same location. Agents enter entering from the same breach point will enter, enter the encounter together and be closer in the timeline. The order of the breach point... The order of the breach points will, will enter is shown next to their name and can be changed using arrows. Okay. So we've got the main door, 
And the second door? Okay. Let's, um... Okay, so for the main door, I'm thinking Cherub. And let's follow him up with... Godmother. And then we'll have... Terminal and Verge up here, because this seems like a good flank point. Yeah, uh, closely watched, enemies deal plus one damage during the breach, so we want the shield and a heavy hitter. Seal the deal, last unit through this entrance is plus three damage during the breach. I don't know much about these guys. I Terminal is a healer, he's a... Uh, Verge is a defensive psionic or something, or is enemy position moving. Cherub is Defender, I think Godmother's like a Assault or something, I don't know. Stay behind me. We shall move in. Let's see. Alright, here we go. Um uh, Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Response level aggressive. Aggressive shoot XCOM if they aren't neutralized during the breach, se breach sequence. Okay. So this guy is prepared. We should try and take him out. Yeah, you know what? Let's try and let's aim for this guy. Excellent. And who else we got? Surprised. Uh, let's grab this one. He has a high, good chance to take him out. And flanking shots. Ooh. Oh, that's uh, that's bad. Okay, you know what? This guy's right in front of us. Let's take care of him. Okay, and... Oh, you don't... You don't have a great shot... Okay, I see the thing. You don't have a great shot on... Uh... Yeah, you you could have taken care of this guy, but you don't have a good shot on the guy down here that I was after. So, this guy, I guess. Wow, that actually worked! Who knew? Agent Abilities. Each agent has a unique ability they can use every turn, eventually gaining more abilities from their classes and equipment. Most agents have the sub Subdue Ability, a non-lethal attack that is used to low damage but guaranteed to hit. Use it to earn additional rewards and for certain mission objectives. Cherub uses the Charge Bash ability instead of Subdue. Alright then. So I guess we can try and capture one of these guys? Or something. Uh, charge bash. Cherub bashes the enemy with the energy shield, consuming all charge. If Cherub, if charge is consumed to deal damage in a cone behind the en enemy, damage increases with charge replaces subdue. Bash an enemy with the en energy shield, to consuming all charge. If charge is consumed, deal damage in a cone behind the enemy. Now let's go with this guy. I want to see if we can try and capture this one. I oh. made the arrest. Oh. Okay, that is a subdue thing. Okay. Oh. Well, that's less than ideal. Uh, subdue! Godmother. Okay. Well, I tried. Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. Failed to subdue. Uh, battled man is verge fought sonically, attacks an enemy's mind, making them go berserk and attack a nearby target, adds them to neutral network, stupor, sonically stuns the target for one, two actions, add them to neutral network, cannot tell them. You know what? Just, just shoot him then. Or not. Okay. Oops. Uh, may have, uh, may have balls this up. Safeguard, safeguard godmother. Uh-oh. I screwed up. I thought shield charge was lethal. You know what, if he tries to move. Uh, ooh, oh, we can aim our overwatch now, that's pretty cool. Uh, charge bash! Yeah! Knock him out! Welcome. There we go. We're fine, everything's fine. Set up the breaching charge. I do like to make an entrance. Alright. We're just going to take out a wall. Some breach points can only be accessed with special equipment or abilities. Once an agent with the required as asset is in the first slot, other agents can then be assigned. So... 
Cherub is the only one. Heck, apparently the, that has a breaching charge. That's fine. Then let's send in Godmother, Verge, and Terminal. Breach! Wait, hold! Hostage confirmed in the next room. We need more than that. 3-1 PD has a live feed. Patching through. If you surrender, I will advocate leniency. Enough! This exhibit, it is about XCOM's role in our liberation. I see you read the placard. It doesn't say how they went soft and got weak. Now, it's up to us to light the spark. He's holding a detonator. Go, now! Discrimination. This for an entrance? Always a good idea. I don't think so, pal. Who we got? Surprised. Surprised. Alert. Right behind cover. Alright, let's try and take out the surprise guys then. Take out who we can. The more enemies we deal with now, the less we gotta deal with later. Uh, okay, 63, not terrible. Okay, yeah, let's just go for easy ones first. And they just automatically take positions, alright. You're a nightingale. I'll protect you. Target right. spotted. Oh Turn god. Down. Terminal, that, stabilize here. That ain't good. <laughs> On it. Verge, with me. Protect the mayor. Confirmed. Bleeding out. Agents that lose all their hit points will begin bleeding out over several turns, indicated by the number on the timer. The mission will will fail unless the agent bleeding out is saved with the stabilize ability, or the encounter is completed before the timer expires. So basically, nobody dies in this game. This is a more story-focused campaign. Uh, you don't get to customize the characters. You don't get to lose characters. E everyone lives. Long story short, Everyone lives. All right, St uh, that's terminal. Uh, we are currently on Godmother, though. Hmm. Let's try subdue. Why not? One more time. Arrested the target. There we go. This guy, I think he needs to be taken out. Yeah, we ain't gonna get him. Not at this rate. So let's move you over here. And you got the detonator. So can we stupor him? Cytically stun target if one to do actions and adds them to a neutral network. Neur neural network cannot target enemies in a neural network. Sure. Alright, so he's stunned. Uh terminal. Alright. Yeah, Gremlin stabilize. Excellent. And I guess just get All next right. to uh, the mayor. Swift and steady. What happened to being stunned? All right. I was expecting some stunnedness. Short range cone, dealing multiple damage to targets. Uh, yeah, that ain't good. Okay, so it looks like his overwatch only hits if we enter this area. Okay, no, that would be a terrible idea. You know what? Subdue. Could not arrest the hostile. Alright, good to know. Just shoot him then. Uh, you know what? No, get next to him. Get next to him. Get a better shot. I don't think we're able to do this one. City on fire. Sure. Oh, I guess you can't see this. Are you still with us? I got an achievement. Yeah. City on fire. Uh, I think so. Only thing injured is my pride. And your diaphragm. And a few ribs. Hmm. None of this should have happened. Most people say thank you. I'm, I'm grateful, of course. But these people don't have the capability for any of this. Explain. I read their threat assessment. A month ago, these insurgents were all talk and no capability. 
The greatest threat they posed was to bottles of alcohol. Why tell us? Why now? City 31 shows the world how humans, hybrids, and aliens can keep a lasting peace. I'm the public face of this. Tonight, someone wanted what I represent to go up in flames. We're not in town for local intrigue. I know. But right now, you're the only ones I'm certain of fighting for that same peace. Can I count on your support? Yes, ma'am. All right. And that was the first mission of XCOM Chimera, Chimera Squad, the tutorial mission. I'm going to cut this here, because I do want to keep missions short. I, oh, I want to keep recording shorter. Uh, I heard some response about that, and we're at 20 minutes now. Figured that might be a good time, especially since it's the end of campaign. Um, I'm going to cut recording here and immediately pick up new episode probably tomorrow, depending on how much or how little editing I do. And if there's something immediately afterwards that I feel like I need to add on, uh, then I'll just take that from the next recording and add it onto this one. Yada yada yada. So, yes. Operation Windblast, Crisis at the Museum. Whisper here, head back to the base. Whisper here, head back to the base. We're going to need to debrief. Godmother's lightly wounded, Cherub is gravely wounded, Terminal Inverter unharmed. Five rounds to complete, three encounters, 14 killed, three captured, one rescued, zero casualties. Alright, we did good. We did good. So, with all that in mind, thank you everyone so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you liked it. Don't if you didn't. My name is Tam Troll. This is XCOM Chimera Squad. And I will see you next time. Package delivered to 31PD. She truly believes what she says. That's why she's in charge. Not too shabby for our first official mission. Don't do that. Don't do what? Celebrate before a mission is complete. It's... <laughs> it's bad luck.